Incredible Animals of the Arctic. Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. When you think of the Arctic, you think of a lot of ice and snow, but there's so much more. The Arctic is made up of parts of several countries, including the US, Alaska to be exact, Canada, Greenland, Norway, Iceland, Sweden, Finland, and Russia. There are so many amazing animals that survive in these icy, freezing conditions, whether it's on land or in the Arctic Ocean. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Polar Bears A visit to the Arctic would not be complete without laying your eyes on one of these beautiful, white-coated creatures who are classified as marine animals and are the only bears put in this category. These bears can sniff out a potential meal from miles away, but despite their incredible sense of smell, less than 2% of their hunts are successful. Their main source of food is ringed seals and bearded seals, but they'll also eat small mammals, birds, and plenty of eggs. A scary thought is that the polar bear population is expected to decline by a further 30% by 2050. Arctic Fox Chile, Iceland, Europe, and parts of North America are the spots you will find the Arctic Fox. They're not always white as snow and shed their winter coat and turn brown or gray in the summer. The Arctic Fox has several adaptations to survive the harsh winters, including round, compact bodies which minimize surface area exposed to the cold. Their short ears, legs, and muzzle conserve heat. They have super thick fur on their paws, bearing the impact of the snow and ice. Their staple diet is lemmings, and their hunting skills are incredible. Their hearing is so advanced they locate the exact position of their prey beneath the snow. Walrus. There are around 200,000 walruses inhabiting the freezing waters of the Arctic Circle. These massive beasts use their whiskers to locate shellfish like clams and can wolf down as many as 4,000 at a time. Walruses are pinnipeds, which means they have front and rear flippers. Atlantic walruses are found in the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific walruses in the Pacific, and Labtev walruses in the Labtev Sea of the Arctic Ocean. They like places with shallow waters as it's easier for them to access food. Walruses can live up to 40 years and usually weigh between 1,800 and 3,700 pounds. Males are larger than females. Their only natural predators are orcas and polar bears. Puffin. They've earned the nickname sea parrots. Puffins are found along the coast of the North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. Their actual name is Fratercula, which comes from the Latin word little brother. It was named this because their plumage was said to resemble the black and white robes worn by monks at the time. Puffins weigh as much as a tin of coke and only lay one egg per year. Both mom and dad look after the egg. They're very chatty at their breeding colonies, but are super quiet when out at sea. Most of the puffins in the world live in Iceland, and these birds can hold several small fish in their beaks at one time. Harp seal. The Arctic and Atlantic Oceans are home to the harp seal, and you'll no doubt recognize a baby harp seal immediately. Sadly, those beautiful white coats make them targets for hunters after their pelts. The EU has banned any importation of harp seal skins, which is a great step to preserving these beautiful animals. The highest concentration of harp seals is on Greenland's coast, and their scientific name translates to the Ice Lover of Greenland. These sociable animals have a range of vocal abilities. Pups use a bawling sound to get the attention of their mom and have a mumbling sound when playing. Adults are growlers, especially if they feel threatened, and they have 19 different calls used when courting and mating. They don't spend a lot of time on land and can hold their breath for 15 minutes underwater. Arctic hares. Arctic hares live in the tundra of Canada, Greenland, and a few Arctic islands. For these tough hares to survive the harsh environment they call home, they have a few behavioral and physiological adaptations. Their fur is thick, and they have a low surface area to volume ratio, helping to conserve heat. A clear indication of this is their short ears. They dig holes in the snow and huddle together for extra warmth. They mainly eat woody plants, but if that's scarce, will also eat moss and seaweed. In winter, their coat is pure white, helping them camouflage in the snow. In spring, their coat changes to blue-gray to help them hide in the rocks and vegetation. Females give birth to one litter every year, and there are usually between two and eight young ones. Beluga whale. Most of the beluga whales are found in the Arctic, but there is one population that inhabit the St. Lawrence River, North America. They have the nickname Canary of the Sea due to their large library of musical calls they use to communicate underwater. They blend in perfectly with the floating ice around them thanks to their white skin, but it takes 13 years to change to that white color. When they're born, they are brownish gray. The bump on their head is called a melon, and that's what they use to echolocate. Doll sheep. 
This wild sheep is native to Western Canada and is used to living in harsh alpine environments. They range in color from white to black, have curved horns and feed off grass, broad-leaved plants, sedges, and dwarf willows. Male rams weigh up to 249 pounds and females 150 pounds. Their predators include humans, wolves, bears, and golden eagles. Interesting to note, their horns do not grow during the wintertime. Arctic Wolf Arctic North America and Greenland are where you'll find the highest number of Arctic wolves because it's there that they have a lot of prey to hunt. They mostly hunt caribou or reindeer, musk oxen, and Arctic hares, but will also seek out seals, lemmings, and ptarmigan. They live in packs of up to 20 wolves and are a subspecies of the gray wolf. Males are a little larger than females and they usually weigh around 100 pounds, although some full-grown males have weighed as much as 175 pounds. They have small ears to retain body heat and can be black gray, or white. It's usually just the alpha male and female wolves that breed, but in larger packs, other males will mate too. Moms birth two to three pups, and pups remain with their mom for up to two years. In captivity, Arctic wolves can live for over 18 years, but in the wild, their lifespan is closer to 10. Moose Known as moose in North America and elk in Eurasia, this large deer species is plentiful, with millions of them living in North America and Eurasia. Males weigh between 840 and 1,540 pounds, and females between 440 and 1,080 pounds. Breeding season is September to October, and females give birth to one or two calves weighing roughly 30 pounds at birth. Their hooves are wide, acting like snowshoes, enabling them to walk effortlessly in the snow. Moose are excellent swimmers. Strangely, the moose population in Minnesota is dwindling at a rapid rate, and within 20 years, the number has dropped from 2,000 to 200. Arctic Tern A remarkable little bird is the Arctic Tern, who makes a round trip of 56,000 miles each year and weighs as little as a quarter pound. This bird sees more daylight than any other animal on Earth and has a circumpolar breeding distribution which covers the Arctic and subarctic regions of Europe, Asia, and North America. They breed during the Arctic summer and then fly to Antarctica, babies included. They enjoy an Antarctic summer and then fly back to the Arctic to start the cycle again. These opportunistic feeders will indulge in fish or krill, spotting their prey from the air and then diving down to catch it. Their biggest prey is Arctic foxes, polar bears, and and mink who go for their nests and take their eggs or chicks. Their nests are vulnerable as they are on the ground. Arctic Woolly Bear Moth this little moth defies the norms of being a caterpillar and takes around seven years to build up enough resources to pupate into an adult moth. There's a festival that takes place in Ohio called the Woolly Bear Festival, and they celebrate the caterpillar of this Arctic moth. This caterpillar spends the bulk of its life frozen as there's hardly any food available for it. They have an antifreeze chemical in their body, and some have been known to survive temperatures of 70 degrees below freezing. Their favorite food when they do eat is the Arctic willow in Sadly, when it changes into a moth, it mates, reproduces, and the cycle starts again. Wolverine This is the largest of the weasel family and resembles a small bear more than a medium-sized dog. They weigh between 20 and 55 pounds. These tough animals have a quirky characteristic when they breed, and although the breeding season is summer, the implanted embryo can experience a type of stasis, delaying development until there's more food available. There are usually three kits born, and life expectancy is between four and six years. Canada and Alaska are home to thousands of wolverines, but their populations are declining. They eat any animal they can lay their paws on and have been known to attack bigger animals like adult deer. If they have excess food, they will hide it away for later consumption. Their main predators are wolves and bears, but coming above that is man. Ribbon seal. This beautiful seal is a medium-sized pinniped found in the Arctic and subarctic regions of the North Pacific Ocean. His pelt is genuinely stunning, and males do have a brighter color than their female counterparts. Each seal has four white bands, and scientists believe these bands help the seals to identify one another. Babies are born with thick gray coats, and at around five weeks, they molt this drab fur and reveal their stripy coat underneath. The males, some females, and juveniles have a delicate air sac attached to their lower trachea. Its purpose is unclear, but some believe it helps with buoyancy. They have very bad eyesight and pay little attention to humans and boats. They stay close to the pack ice, but when that melts, they are found in the open sea. 
musk ox. These guys used to be widespread across the Arctic, but overhunting has dwindled their numbers drastically. They live in the tundra regions of the high Arctic. They weigh between 400 and 900 pounds. Musk oxen are harem breeders, whereby the male seeks dominance and then breeds with all the females. Females are pregnant for eight months and their young are well developed at birth. There are roughly 150,000 left in the world, with most of them living in Canada. They are herbivores and their main predator is the Arctic wolf. Which of these Arctic animals was your favorite? Which would you love to see in the wild? Let us know in the comments below. Reindeer. These Arctic beauties are found in Alaska, Canada, Greenland, parts of Europe, and Asia in the tundra. The name reindeer is of Norse origin and doesn't have anything to do with reins, like many believe. Both male and female reindeer grow antlers. A special adaptation they have to help bear the brunt of the cold is their noses warm up the air before it reaches their lungs. Their hooves increase in size in summer when the grounds are soft and get smaller in winter when the ground is hard. During the winter, their eyes are blue and in the summer a golden color. They're called caribou in North America, and their main predator is the golden eagle, who prey on the young in the spring. Interesting to note, males lose their antlers much earlier in the winter, so the chances of Santa's sleigh being pulled by an all-female team is highly probable.